Brad Schumer here on Drum Talk TV at the NAMM Show 2017 and on Facebook Live too. Thanks for joining us. I'm here with Foo Foo the drummer, my old bro. What is up? You, brother. You, what's up? <laughs> Drum Talk TV is what's up. Hey, you were in like a big new Smash movie recently. Tell us about La La Land. Well, I'm Ryan Gossie's drummer in La La Land. Uh, which features Emma Stone and uh, John Legend. And uh, it's about the history of jazz and the, the history of dance and music. And uh, you, you got to see it. It's a great movie. It won all, all the awards. Yeah, I saw the trailer and a little documentary on the behind-the-scenes thing. And what was it like being in a movie playing the music that was from the eras that you grew up with? Well, because you were there for a lot of that. Yeah, well, mainly what I enjoyed was the fact, was working with Damien. Yeah. Because he had tried to do this movie previous to Whiplash, and they told him it wouldn't be done. So he did Whiplash, and I was a drummer with uh, J.K. Simmons in Whiplash, and then he got the money from that, and now look at where he's at. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you know, perseverance is the best teacher. Yeah, and be patient, and, too. And, and, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. be patient. Yes, sir. That's awesome. You know, uh, all I can say is, it's a lot of stuff going on in the music industry right now. I think music needs to go back to the 60s. Yeah. They need to take all of this electronic stuff out of music. They need to... Um, uh, uh, get back to orchestration and and because when I was with the Dells they had an 89 piece orchestra and 101 strings on their album yeah. and they're not doing that too much these days you yeah. know? And, uh, and then also you know when after I done the movie we did the after party for La La Land and two weeks later, they broke in my garage and stole my drums. Ah! And, and my cymbals I had 50 years. So, my wife contacted this beautiful guy in Italy, and Sergio from uh, Zipper Turner's Drum, custom designed me a snare drum to beat the world for, man. It just, yeah. it just, it, made, it changed my life, because, I cried for days. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I had that drum since 65, man. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. But, but this movie, man, is, you got to go see it because it, it's, it's bringing the element of jazz and music back to the screen. Yeah, that's cool. You know? Yeah. And uh, more than anything, I enjoy Drum Talk TV. Oh, thanks. Because you guys are awesome, man. Do you make popcorn when you watch it? I sure do. You gotta make popcorn when yeah. you watch Drum Talk TV. I got three or four kinds. <laughs> I got three or four kinds of popcorn. <laughs> the little bitty one and the great bitty. <laughs> hey, what, what do you do? Do you know what you're doing the rest of the year? Do you, do you know what you're getting involved with? Well, uh, uh, my band, uh, the Universal All Stars, I think we might be putting together, if, if we work it out with Lionsgate, uh, a, a, a La, La, La La Land band. Great. To uh, do some, some performances. Oh, great. Because uh, we got contacted by the, the, one of the musicians in the band, uh, in the movie, and uh, Johnny Britt and, uh, and Cal Bennett want, want, want to form a unit to represent La La Land on tour. That's awesome. So we'll see how it goes. It's in God's hands. Well, we'll we want you to get up to the mountains where we're living so we can do a long version interview. This man has stories. He was back there when a lot of this great stuff was being born. You know, a lot of the music today comes from roots that I think a lot of people don't know about. And before you branch out in music, you got to understand the roots of where it came from. And this gentleman was there for a lot of it. He had a lot of stories, and we'll have you for your full episode on Drum Talk TV. Well, I hope I live to March, because I'll be drumming 72 years in March. Ah, you're a you kid. Know. And I got to make give a shout-out to my wife. Sure. Because if it wasn't for my wife, Rochelle, I, I probably wouldn't even have been in the, in the uh, room. She's, really she's the one that got a hold of the director, 
and said, look, you need to have Fufu in this movie. She told me she threatened him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what got, well, they contacted me. When Damien called me, he said, well, I wrote some special lines for you. And when I did the lines and I saw the movie, they were there. <laughs> Well, you know about the cutting room but, but, Ryan, <laughs> but Ryan introduces the band in the movie, and we all get our names mentioned and get our little accolades. And That's you know, great. The main thing, I just want this movie to touch a lot of kids. Yeah. They yeah. need to it's know. Like a history lesson. Yeah, they need to know that, you know, we got to keep old school music alive. Yeah. That's true. Sure. Because recording with just the piano and two or three, that, yeah. that, that's not music to me. I don't care any way you slice it, it ain't music to me. You know, I, I got to hear the whole, whole band. The whole band. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's just a pleasure to be that you even uh, are my friend because I love you, man. Uh, thanks. I appreciate you that know, so much. I love you so much. Thank you. You know, and uh, yeah. Thank you. So we're going to do that later. Yeah, definitely. You guys got to check out. Some old school, I hope you don't mind that term, old school music. Yeah, We're check out The Dells. This yeah. is the drummer from The Dells. Goes back to the yeah. 60s and go see this movie La La Land. It really is kind of like a, a documentary in a way. It's 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 entertaining. It was meant to be entertaining, but it's a great slice of history to show you how all this stuff was born back in that day. You know? Yeah. Um, well, as Dan said, I am the original drummer and band leader of the Dale. I grew up with the Shy Lights. We went to high school together. I was their drummer when they were the highlights. And then I also was Patty the Bell and the Blue Bells and the and OJ's drummer, along with the Dales back in the 60s. So, you know, it's just a long winding road, like the Beatles said, you know? Yeah. And here we are today and now. You finally made it back to Drum Talk TV. You know. <laughs> well, well, it was a gas. My wife and I being on the red carpet. That, that, okay. was, yeah, that was yeah. true. That's you awesome. Know. And she arranged that too. That's great. Hey, thanks for joining us. Yeah. We'll have you on for your full length episode. Thank you all for joining us here on DrumTalkTV.com and on Facebook Live. Thanks for hanging out. And you'll see more with me and Foo Foo, the drummer, coming to you soon. Thanks for joining us. Right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, brother. And thank you. God bless your company. Thanks. And God bless you, brother. Thanks, brother. You too. Well.